Hello, hello. Anybody hanging out with me today? I'm so excited to be back with you in the new year. I'm hoping my um, chat will work today so I can see you guys' comments. Fingers are crossed. All of them, maybe. <laughs> so let me know if you are here. Say hi. Tell me what's on your sewing table this week. Um, tell me what you're hoping to see in this video. I have 10 beautiful fabrics to share with you. Um, and I, I have a good variety. I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. Um, I have last last week. <laughs> it's been like three weeks. So I have the winner of the last videos for Real Fabrics. Um, and then of course every comment that you post today will um, enter you to win this week's fabric. I'm not seeing any comments on my computer so I'm going to just double check on my phone really quick and um, see if y'all are here and it's just not coming through for me. I have to find the right spot. Let's look here. <laughs> Let's see if I can find me. Okay, so there's zero posts, there's zero comments. Can someone comment for me? Just make sure that it's working. I see me here, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say hi. It's wonderful to be back with you in the new year. I hope you guys all had wonderful, safe, happy, happy times with family and friends, whatever that entailed for you. Um, I know that I certainly enjoyed a lot of Zoom videos and a lot of comfy couch time and read quite a few books, which was really nice. Um, so I'm super excited to be back with you today and sharing beautiful fabrics. Why don't I dive right in? So our very first ever. Hi, good morning. You guys are here. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy. Uh, that makes me so happy. Hi, I can see comments. This is a win. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go with our very first fabric. We have a sweater knit to start. And this is a um, Hachi sweater knit. It's called Smooth Damask. Oh, and my assistant is here to help. Virginia's here, y'all. Nope, there you go. <laughs> So this is called Smooth Damask. Um, this is a beautiful kind of a camel color with not quite ivory and not quite black. <laughs> it's kind of a cream. Um, let me hold it up so you can see a little bit more of that pattern. It's so beautiful and it gets so soft when you wash it. Um, it is 96.4 poly spandex. It's 180 GSM. It has 75% horizontal stretch, but it's stable vertically. And y'all, we don't have any coordinates for this. It doesn't quite match our charcoal. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, it doesn't there. quite match our black. It's it, it's not ivory. Um, but it is just beautiful and lovely. And looks like hearts. It kind of does look like hearts. It's beautiful. Ooh, still in bed. That's the way to live. Friday morning. I love it. Okay, so next up I have a double brush poly for you. And I know you guys are sick of me saying this, but this is by far one of my favorite fabrics. <laughs> it feels extra soft. It's a double brush poly. And the print just makes me it makes me want to go on vacation tropical beach. to a tropical beach. Or it makes me feel like I'm already on vacation in a tropical beach. Just look at this. Look at these beautiful palm fronds. I think they're called palm fronds. I don't actually know. I know fabric, not leaves. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is Tranquil Palms is what we've called this one. And it is also 96.4 poly spandex. Virginia's accidentally got her sound on as she also checks comments for me to be my backup. It's 180 GSM. Um, it has 50% horizontal stretch and 25% vertical stretch. And I do have a few coordinates for you on this one. I have pink coral. I love that one. It's so beautiful. Cognac, which is in these, nope, wrong side, these leaves here. <laughs> Let me switch those. So... It's reading a little dark on my screen, um, so the cognac isn't quite coming through on my screen. Um, but there's some beautiful cognac on the brown leaves here. And then I believe we have ivory as our last one. Just beautiful, just a lovely combination. It's soft and sweet, and mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. I definitely need to make something to go with it. Um, I need a lot of things out of that. <laughs> okay, as Virginia also is happy with that fabric. So, let's move on. I have another double brush poly for you. 
This one makes me so happy. If you guys are plaid lovers, which I hope you are because I am, um, look at this cranberry plaid. It's so beautiful. This color is gorgeous. Um, so this is double brush poly cranberry plaid. Let me, let me, I'll back up. I'll stand in the corner. Turns out you can put baby in a corner. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we've got 96.4 poly spandex, 180 GSM. It has 75% horizontal stretch and 50% vertical stretch. Um, I have no coordinates for this. I was just thinking the same thing. Black doesn't yeah. match? Right? No, no. Good. black doesn't match. Ivory yeah, doesn't match. It's too creamy. It's all just a little bit off. It's all just a little bit off. So I don't have any exact matches to this, but it is quite beautiful and um, it's it's lovely. I want a skirt. I want some pants. I want a shirt. A cardigan would be beautiful. Virginia thinks I should show you ocean. Oh, look how much it looks good. Ocean look really pops baby. against it. I would. Come on. Virginia has weird taste. I'm just kidding. I love her. Um, <laughs> um, so that is cranberry plaid. I have another double brush poly. I told you guys I had um, variety, but it turns out I've got a lot of double brush polys. <laughs> so this one is, oh, it's so soft. Starburst in lavender. It's so beautiful. So these tiny little starbursts. Come a little closer so you can really see those. Um, on this beautiful lavender background. Um, this is 96.4 poly spandex. Once again, 180 GSM. It's got 50% horizontal stretch and 25% vertical stretch. I only have one coordinate for you. It doesn't match any of our purples, but those starbursts are ivory, which just looks beautiful. Ooh, I, I like it with my cardigan or with my hoodie. Yeah. This is, if you guys have this heavy ponty from last year, the year before? I don't know. I this heavy ponty from a while back. Um, it looks really good with that, too. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's just a beautiful purple, and I love the not-quite-dots take on a polka dot. Like, those little starbursts are just so cute. Hi, Sarah Maddox. How are you? Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I'm powering through these way too fast. i got to slow down. i got to start talking slower. i got to, I don't know, i got to do something. Oh, I have a wonderful French Terry for you guys. This is Pink a Leopard. If you are an animal print lover, even if you're not, I love this. I love this so much. Um, so this is 68 poly, 29 rayon, and 3 spandex. So that rayon really makes it nice and drapey, nice and beautiful, and extra soft, um, while still being that wonderful French Terry that we all love. Ugh, I'm struggling to hold it. <laughs> it's 200 GSM, so it's just a little bit heavier weight than most of our double brush polys. It has 75% horizontal stretch and 25% vertical. And we've got some people doing work here today. It's so nice. I have some coordinates for you. I have charcoal, which is beautiful, ivory, and then that pink is a light pink. So we have all three colors in here looking so good and beautiful. It is static in here. Did you not see that in yesterday's I video? <laughs> my hair was going crazy and my fabric was going crazy. Start talking more Southern and slow down. Sarah, I've been here more than a decade and I haven't picked up any Southern speeds. So I don't think it's going to happen now. Virginia, on the other hand, picked up the slow walking immediately. <laughs> immediately. It's obnoxious. <laughs> Okay, so next up, oh, I have more of this alpaca sweater knit. This one is Dusk, and I am obsessed with this one. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Just open, open. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at these colors. It's so beautiful, and it's so soft. Y'all know I love this alpaca sweater knit. I am more than slightly obsessed with it. Um, so this is the Poly Rayon Spandex Blend. Um, so that rayon really brings out the softness. It's just it's lovely. I need I need a book of adjectives because I need more words. <laughs> it's just lovely. It's just beautiful and lovely. It's 190 GSM, so it's a beautiful weight for pretty much anything you want to make. Um, it has 50% horizontal stretch and just 5% vertical. And then I have three coordinates for you. Oh, and I love these coordinates. Let's start with ivory. 
Ivory is just so soft and lovely. And so then one of my favorites, Virginia has moved further away, so she has to take a step to hand me the coordinates in order to slow me down. Um, so this is sea foam. Oh, y'all know I love the sea foam. See, Sarah, we're on the same page here. No need to be slow. And then orchid. Oh, that's orchid, right? Yeah, that's orchid. I looked at it and said orchid, but then I went, I didn't actually double check that. <laughs> Look at how beautiful these are together. I just love how soft and um, lovely these are. I think I should, I think I'm a little um, tall today. There we go. Okay, Virginia would like to show you um, a, a coordinating not in it color. Look at this purple. If you want something dark and beautiful, purple is gorgeous with it. If you want something light and actually matching, these three are beautiful. Um, I think they all look wonderful with it. And I don't want to take this off. <laughs> mm -mm. It's just beautiful. It's cozy. It's comfy. It gets softer with every wash. I love it. Um, stop that. Okay, so what do we have next? Oh, Kira, my favorite is also the sea foam. But I love sea foam. I love it. Dixie, Virginia is very happy for your comment. She's over there going, yeah. <laughs> So please know that she's going to hold that over my head for a while. <laughs> oh, it would make a beautiful so scrappy top. Oh, that would be lovely. I love mixing all those colors. Um, it's just happy. It's just happy. Okay. Let's see what we've got next. Is a single brush poly. Aruba green stripes. So this is kind of... Aruba green is, is really a great um, name for it. Not shooting my own horn or anything. It just makes me think of like seawater and beautiful it's also kind of like a peacock green um it's in that beautiful jeweled tone family um and it is single brush poly it's brushed on the right side not on the wrong side so you get the silkiness of the dty against your skin and then the the soft luxurious brushness on the outside so you can awkwardly like pet your shoulders and stuff in public don't be weird virginia <laughs> Um, it's just, it's beautiful. I have gone on and on about how much I love single brush poly. Um, I'm sure you guys are sick of it, so I'm going to try to stop this time. I'm going to try to stop. So this is 96.4 poly spandex. It's 180 GSM, so it's a beautiful weight. It has a 100% horizontal stretch, and then it falls. It's like I said it was silky on the inside, right? <laughs> and then it's got 50% horizontal. Nope, that's vertical. <laughs> Vertical stretch. Um, Virginia, would you grab the vintage purple and the dusk and see if those match for me, please? Um, Stephanie is asking, not, not just me, but Stephanie. <laughs> so I have one coordinate for this, which I'll take out of Virginia's hands just to um, <clears throat> ease her. And that is the ivory. And then we did want to show it with the evergreen to show you the slight difference. It is very close. It is a tone off. I would wear these together. I would wear these together, um, but it is not an exact match, but we did just want you to see it um, so that you would see what it looks like. On my screen, they look identical, so <laughs> you're going to have to take my word that they're a slight tone yeah, off. This one's a little bit darker. Yeah, the uh, evergreen is just a little bit darker. We do have Stephanie. We do have the um, vintage purple and dusk for you. Virginia's watching you and not me, so she's the handoff was awkward. Um, so it is a little bit too dusty to actually be in the fabric. It's not, we, we looked at all the different purples when we were doing coordinates on this because it looks like it should match, um, but it's not actually in there. Um, so that is what vintage purple looks like with the dusk. I suppose I could put this fabric on like yeah. nicely with the dusk alpaca sweater net. So there, there you go, Stephanie, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, green. I love greens. You guys know I love greens. They make my eyes look extra pretty, and who doesn't want to feel extra pretty? I don't know. I'm crazy people. No, that's not true. Okay, so we've got a double brush poly. I was, like, reading the single brush poly line and going, this doesn't feel single brush. Um, <laughs> so this is a double brush poly. Peacock plaid! Oh, I love this one. I love it so much. 
it's so soft and beautiful and these colors there's a slight yellow stripe in there i'm pretty sure we have a yellow coordinate actually um it just is so beautiful um so this is I'm, i keep losing my place on my page double brush poly 96.4 um ran, uh, polyester spandex it's 180 gsm 75 percent horizontal stretch and 50 percent vertical i have three coordinates for you See, I want to cut this on the bias. Look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Ivory. Oh, yeah, I love that. Navy Midnight. Oh, I can yeah, say it not, again. It's not black. I love that. It is not black. This is Navy Midnight. The stripe here, it's Navy Midnight in there. I think taking the ivory out helps it read a little bit more blue. And then Lemon is this last stripe in here. And it just looks beautiful together. I love it. I love it so much. So I cannot wait to see what you guys start making out of this because oh, I need an excuse to buy some. <laughs> Jane, Virginia agrees with you. She's mumbling over here, but Virginia agrees with you. It is one of the best plans. So now we have oh, this Techno Alpaca is just amazing cj yes you can cut on the bias um you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure that you are very cautious when you're cutting and then when you're working with it so that you don't um mess with the grain lines of your fabric at all while you're manipulating to sew but you can totally just turn the fabric uh the pattern piece 45 degrees and cut on the bias and go to town have fun this is the best part about sewing is you can really get what you want um excellent okay so this is the techno alpaca the color is reading really nicely on my screen. It's a nice um, slate, slate blue. I was like, what is the name of this? I didn't just read my page. Um, it's Friday, y'all. I need a nap. Um, this is a nice slate blue. Um, it is 93.7 poly spandex, 200 GSM. So it's a little bit heavier weight. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, it has 60% horizontal stretch and... 25% vertical stretch. Um, and it's just, it's soft. It's beautiful. I made a, a top out of the black and it's wearing quite well. It's still very vividly black after a couple washes. And um, it's just a little fuzzy, like a, like a hoodie gets. It's not pilling for me. Um, and I wash on gentle and cold and then gentle dry as well. So, okay. I've got a few questions I see come in. So, I don't remember the name of this hoodie. This is the five out of four hoodie that has a cropped option. Um, and then I've got the tri-blend underneath in the Pamela, also five out of four with that fun um, neckline as a cute little dress. Um, that is the top I'm wearing. Yes, Ash. Yeah, Sarah's got me. It's the Ash Ponty. Um, so I think they called it alpaca because it's so soft, like an alpaca knit, um, like an alpaca fiber. Um, but it does not actually have alpaca in it. Um, good morning, Sarah Dara. Um, it's lovely to see you guys as well. Happy to be back. Yes. I just have one more fabric, everybody. So ask questions because I don't want to go. <laughs> um, excellent, excellent. So I've got one more double brush poly. And this is actually just a new colorway in one of um, y'all's clearly favorite fabrics because it sold out so fast that I restocked it. So we have Giddy in black, and if you guys did not know that we restocked Giddy in pink, please know that we restocked Giddy in pink. So we have this double brush poly, 96.4 poly spandex. Um, it's 180 GSM, and it is 50% horizontal stretch and 25% vertical stretch. And I'm actually, I'm going to scooch this out of the way so that I can come nice and close so you can really see that pattern. It's so cute, little vines with tiny little dots of color it's just so beautiful so i've got a few coordinates for you oh i love this one um black is my background color and it's a true black so it matches let me move my page out of the way ivory Ooh, that looks so good and then we have both red and lipstick red are um in the little dots they both match they both coordinate so i can see I'm going to hold it nice and close so you can, oh, I'm getting static over here. So you can really see those reds together. They both look very beautiful with it. I think you can't go wrong. So if you've got one in your stash, you're golden. Or if you have a propensity to one over the other, um, say you like the slightly oranger red 
versus the slightly deeper red. They both work quite nicely with it. So lipstick red is my favorite of our reds. Um, I have a cute little crop top out of it and I love it. It's so beautiful. The red is perfect. It matches all of my beautiful red lips that I love wearing. It's my favorite. Um, so I have last, I keep trying to say last oh. week, um, I have, sorry, I shot you, um, the winner of the last reveal booty from three weeks ago, um, is Karen Sweat, Sweet, if you are watching, congratulations, I'm so excited for you, you can email us at info at slyfoxfabrics.com to claim your prize, um, I will also tag you in the group so that if you're not watching, you still get a notification that you have some free fabric that you can just, you know, email in to get, which is wonderful, um, I'm super excited to have chatted with y'all today, and um, I can't wait to share even more with you. I've got some beautiful fabrics. I completely forgot. I have an announcement for today. I completely forgot that I wanted to tell you guys that our natural fabrics that we did a pre-order on way back in August, all the leftover fabrics are up on the website right now now. We've just made them live about an hour ago. Um, so you can find them if you go to All Fabrics and then Natural Fabrics. You'll find those gorgeous, so luxurious fabrics. Um, they're made out of tensile lyocell, so they're, it's, it's all natural. It's beautiful. You can watch the video with all of the information in it. Um, but we've got French Terry. We have Ribnet that coordinates with three of the four other fabrics. We have Cotton Spandex and... I'm missing one. Stretch fleece. And then we have some sweater nets that are just all gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. I love them all. Um, as we were cutting them, I was just like, I want all. Um, so they're beautiful. We just have a couple of yards of each color um, that we that are up on the site now. So if you were mad you missed out on it, um, the pre-order or you have seen them since and gone, oh, I want that, or you just you just aren't one of them, go grab them now because they're available right now. Um, they'll likely sell out pretty quickly because we just have, some of them just have one or two yards. Some of them, I think the max is about six. And we don't have a lot of yardage of any of them. Um, don't forget the rib net we do sell in quarter yard increments because that is tubular 18 inch rib net. Um, so we just sell it by the quarter yard. So pay attention to that when you um, <laughs> are shopping because um, I would be pretty disappointed if I was expecting a yard and got nine inches. <laughs> um, so I'm so excited. They're finally there and ready for you guys. Everything was so delayed with COVID and everything. So I'm so excited to finally have it for you. Um, and I can't wait to see what you make out of all of it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to comment and um, all week, all week comment and we'll, uh, we'll pick a winner for these beautiful 10 yards of fabric as well for next week. So I will see you next Friday. Have a great week. Sew something beautiful and have some fun. Bye, everybody.